Hi, welcome back to Marissa Explains It All. And today I'm going to be doing a makeup video tutorial where I just dumped a bunch of single eyeshadows and then other makeup products into bins and then I randomly picked them and put together a look. Um, I got the idea from Panacea81, Lauren, she did a series called Lucky Dips over years and I always really enjoyed watching those videos and I thought, hey, wait a minute, like I could do that. That's I, If I like watching them so much, why can't I make one? So I went ahead and took the idea and dumped a bunch of eyeshadows, eyeliners, blushes, and lipsticks into bins, and then I just randomly reached and grabbed and picked out colors I wouldn't necessarily pair together, but I created this look that I'm wearing right now. I think it came out pretty good. I got pretty lucky for my first uh, dip video where I just dipped into things and the colors that came out went go together pretty well, and I got lucky. I was nervous I would get a bunch of weird random colors, but I was able to create this kind of summery look. Um, you know, summers, we have a couple more weeks left of summer, so I think it's perfect that I'm able to get this one last look out. So I think I had a lot of fun making this, and I think I'll continue to do these kind of videos. So if you want to see how what colors I picked and how I put this look together with random picks from bins, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so here are my bins. This one is my eyeshadow bin, so I just put a whole bunch of single eyeshadows in here. And you can see I have a ton of NYX ones, the square ones and round ones. I have some MAC ones, I have Urban Decay, um, some Sugar Pill, Kat Von D, and some more Kat Von D. So you can see I just have a whole bunch of singles, a bunch of different colors. So that should be fun to choose from. And then over here I have some lipsticks and I tried to pick ones that were similar shapes for both my lipsticks and my blushes so I couldn't cheat. So for the lipsticks I put a bunch of square ones. So these are my Maybelline and Milani lipsticks and then I threw a couple Wet n Wild ones in there so I could just reach in and grab a color. And then here are my blushes and again I chose all round blushes so that I couldn't cheat. So I have some Milani, some Coastal Scents, Clinique and some MAC and I think that's it. Now here's eyeliners. I have all different colors, blue, purple, yellow, an orange one, um, some green, brown, black, so I can go ahead and grab some of those. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to pick some shadows. So let me just dig around and see what I get, I'm going to pick more than one, so I'll just set them aside and then I'll show you guys what I got. My eyes are closed, I promise. So, I'm going to pick that one. I'll pick four and then we'll see if I can make a look with any of them. Three, one more. All right, four. Okay, now moving on to lipstick. All right. Mix them up here. My eyes are closed, I promise. I can't see what I could feel. So I'm gonna pick that one. And now moving on to blush. Pick that one. And eyeliner, I'm gonna pick two just in case um, you know I got dark eyeshadows and I get like a dark eyeliner or something. I'll pick two just for safety there. So I'm going to pick that one and that one. So I'll see what I got. Okay, so I just grabbed uh, the items from my mix and match boxes there and let's see what I got. So I got four eyeshadows and one of them, the first one is Urban Decay eyeshadow in the shade Fireball. So it is a peach duochrome, I think it's like a pink peach duochrome shade. Fun. And then the others are all NYX kind of neutral shades, so I got kind of lucky there, I guess. Um, this one is the NYX shadow in Innocent, and it is kind of a champagne color there. Next it is NYX eyeshadow in Flamingo, which is a taupe shade. 
And then the last eyeshadow I pulled was NYX in Daisy, which is a gold shade. Okay, and then the blush that I got is my ColourPop blush in the shade Jellyfish, which is a bright orange shade there. And I only own one ColourPop blush, but this is the one that I grabbed. <laughs> um, and then I got two eyeliners, one in the shade Deep End, which was a, obviously a turquoise. And then one is purple, and that's Asphyxia, an Urban Decay eye eyeliner in Asphyxia. And the lipstick that I pulled is this Milani one in Matte Orchid, and it is a bright pink shade. So let's see what I can come up with with all this stuff. I already have my eyebrows concealer foundation on for the sake of time. I'm going to put my hair square in to hold my hair back. So let's go ahead and see what look I can come up with using these shades. I guess I will start with the shade Daisy, which is this gold, the NYX gold shade that I pulled. I'm going to put this into my crease, up onto my brow bone there, just to add some warmth. So, there's that. Just do the other eye. And I already have some concealer under my brows when I did them, so that can act as my highlight, since I didn't pull a shade that I can really use as a highlight shade. So I'm just going to lay that down as a base, and then I'm going to go into the shade Flamingo, which is again this taupe um, shade NYX. I'm going to take a more rounded kind of brush, and I'm going to put this in my crease over that gold shade just to tone it down a bit and to add a little bit more dimension. I think I got pretty lucky here. I pulled a bunch of neutrals. Um, I didn't pull any matte shades. They're all shimmery, so that's kind of wouldn't be normally how I would do my makeup. But the fact that I didn't get a lot of like crazy wacky eyeshadow shades, I got kind of lucky there. So just put that one into the crease. So you can see I have the yellow color on top and then this taupe shade just to kind of deepen the crease up there. I think I'll start with this innocent shade, which is kind of a champagne shade there. And I'm gonna put that on the first half of my lid. It's a nice, light, kind of pinky shade. It actually goes, I think it'll go really well with the other, the Urban Decay shade that I pulled. So I got kind of lucky this time around, huh guys? <laughs> So I'm just going to put that on the first half there, and then I'm going to go into Urban Decay Fireball, and I'm going to put this on the other half, the outer half of my lid. So this brush is flat, but it's kind of fluffy, so that's why the color is more diffused and not so intense. blend them in the middle there, those two shades I just put. So there is the look. I'm, so I actually got pretty lucky here with this. So there's all of the eyeshadows. Now with the eyeliners, I have a blue and a purple. Hmm. I think I will do something along my lower eye. So let's see. I will start with the blue and I'm, you know, I'm just winging it. This is the whole point of this, right? Just winging it. So I'm going to take this blue and I'm just going to do it on my waterline and maybe a little bit underneath the outer portion of my eye. Then I'm going to take this purple, which is a duochrome purple. It is purple with a blue shift and I'm just going to put that on the inner portion. I dragged that blue with it, but that's okay. So there, blue fading to purple. And then I'm gonna take that, the um, brush that I used to put the color in my crease, and I'm gonna dip into, again, this Urban Decay shade, Fireball. I'm just gonna blend that underneath there just to marry the top and the bottom a little bit so it's not so differentiated, so it looks like the look goes together a little bit more. 
also want to go back into that flamingo shade, which is that taupey kind of shade I put in my crease, and just add a little bit more. I feel like I lost it a bit. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add some mascara, and since I didn't pick a black liner or anything that can go on top there, I'm just going to go into my IT Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara, and that will help add some black. It'll break up by adding black to my waterline. So it has a really small little brush, and you can just get really, really close to your lash line and tight line your eyes there. So you're getting some black on your waterline. So it can help look like you have eyeliner on when really you don't. It's kind of a neutral kind of it's look. It's not too bright. When I first pulled the colors, I was like, oh shit, this is going to be a bright ass look. But the shades actually were muted down more than I had anticipated. So it's a pretty wearable look, I don't think. I mean, with the colored eyeliner on the bottom, it just adds a little pop. But the top shades are all pretty neutral so I got kind of lucky here guys with this first video um, I was worried that I was gonna get some crazy colors that didn't go together not that I don't like max mixing and matching crazy colors these aren't shades that I would necessarily put together I don't think if I was looking to create a look I would grab all of these I would grab a matte um, and I probably would normally use that gold shade that I put up on my up here as my transition shade I'd probably use that more as like a lid shade but making do with it I think it actually came out okay it's not too bad I think I got pretty lucky because the shades all mended well together but let's see with this cheek color and lip color now this cheek color is a orange and the lip color is a pink I wouldn't normally pair these but since this is what I pulled that's what I gotta wear I don't have a choice so I'm gonna apply my ColourPop blush with a big fluffy brush this is a Sony Kashuk brush smile and put it on my cheeks. Actually, it's coming out more pink than I had to anticipate. I think in the pan it looks really orange, but then when you apply it to your cheeks, it comes out a little bit pinker. So that's actually good. I love this blush. Um, I'm glad I picked it. It's really pretty. And fortunately, I have the shade Fireball. My lid is a little bit orangey, so it matches really well with this blush. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on this lipstick, which is Matte Orchid. It is a bright matte pink color. I'm going to have to cheat and put a lip liner on, though. I'll put it on without a lip liner, but it always comes out all wonky. And I'm gonna have to use something to straighten that out. Obviously, I didn't include a lip liner pull or grab from the bins because then if I picked, like, let's say, you know, a light pink lip liner and a burgundy lipstick, those obviously wouldn't work. So that's why I didn't include lip liner. Just grabbed a NYX Pinky Rose shade and I'm just gonna straighten out my lip line a bit. I think the look is actually pretty good. I mean, it's not something I would, like I said, I would have grabbed on my own or put together on my own these shades, but I think it's a summery, it's a really summery look um, with the pop of blue and purple on the bottom and then the orange on the lid and the orange blush and pink lipstick. So I don't think it's unwearable. I would totally wear this out. Um, I think I did a pretty, I think it's, I think it's a pretty good look. I'm actually really happy with the way that this first one turned out. I was nervous that it would end up being really crazy, garish, clowny colors, but I got lucky with my first makeup dip there. So this is what I came up with. So I think I'll continue to do this series. It's pretty fun. I really like it. I enjoy watching when people do these types of videos and um, I liked dipping in and grabbing makeup and making a combination that I wouldn't normally put together on my own without being kind of forced into doing it. So if you like my videos, go ahead and like and subscribe and you'll see more from me later. Okay, thanks. Bye. <laughs>